Good evening viewers. Welcome to ISTV English News at 7. First, we have the top stories. Naurem Thong Pripsa ground will be developed in honor of Mr. India Nongthombam Mai Park, announces Chief Minister N. Biren. Police personnel reportedly intimidates some people amidst initiative of government to improve relations between public and police. And inhabitants decry lack of basic facilities, deplorable condition of roads at Moljam village. And now we have the detailed news. Chief Minister N. Biren has met Nongthombam Mai Park who backed the first ever Mr. India title from Manipur today. The Chief Minister has announced that Naurem Thong Kripsa ground will be developed in honor of Nongthombam Mai Park. The Chief Minister made the announcement at the residence of Mai Park who has been awarded with the son of Manipur title in Naurem Thong Lystrom Ladakh. Chief Minister N. Biren further said that the ground will be developed and setting up of a gallery or an office at the ground in the name of Mr. Mai Park will be discussed at cabinet meeting. He commended Mai Park for maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Responding to media person's query, he stated that Arambam Bobby begging the Mr. World title for the seventh time is the pride of the state and that he will be felicitated soon. Biren further said that the government has heard that Bobby desires a government job and as such the same will be tabled at cabinet meeting. At least Memorial or we have a port amadi state city level from Thokrai na issue ay filled away. Ado no kasi ma ma pam susare kripsa ge do mo kara gay siyempre loy di haye. Ma do ay kung yung government ng site tigi haye tarin ako kari matim panga kanda magi oy ba ming da sa gallery masam to orasu office masam to orasu kari gumba mo kari to boy agi do ay ay gi colleagues ay committee da means cabinet da kari da pukal lagay ba. Kali gumak kerja dia sudah tahu, kan? Dimana, ah, ini gigi wakil dulu, lep dulu. Bobby sih, kaya rak panggak kerja. Hantar kisah seven times sih. Mama angda ikhwan, mama angda ada recognition, pi benda honor tu, benda ikhwan, dah zaman novel ayam bersih. Ada body building expression sih, macam 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 ayam bersih. Kau sih, government suka confusion ayam bersih. Hantar ikhwan. Aduh, hantar kisah God gifted sangs ni, am nungai re. Orang pun body building sih, mahu punjal le. Punjal le, benda tu, benda sat pada anu panggak puni na. Ma sab sana ma thunga benda kau state ke owners. On the other hand, veteran bodybuilder Ed Mai Park expressed gratefulness at the Chief Minister for paying a visit at his residence. He expressed that the announcement of the CM to develop Kripsa ground in his honor is the happiest moment in his life. I am not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to do this. I am not going to be able to do this. Ayi nongai bayi tu boleh sedih ni, nongai bayi hari ni kan itu. Sana bayi sedih ni, hujur bayi sana bayi pi. Tuh ni sana bayi pamela aku ni na. Kristus aja bayi sedih ni, hari tu kan saya cepat na haram bayi. Nongai bayi tu boleh sedih, nongai bayi itu. Sini sembi sembi tengen lo sembi, sembi aga di. Ayi sedih sedih pele. Ibu tu mungkin pasal na orang ke Kristus agro. Jual langgan na mungkin le orang di. Ayi sedih sedih nongai bayi power ni. Amidst the initiative taken up by government to improve relations between public and the police, a police personnel reportedly issued threat to some people and demanded money from them. The incident came to light on social media through a video footage. The incident happened on the morning of December 14th at Porumpat Water Supply when a police personnel who is armed and said himself to be a commando demanded 1,000 rupees from some laborers who came to deliver sand at the premises of the water supply. After the laborers refused, he threatened to take them to custody and demanded to give him not less than 700 rupees. Many people have expressed dissatisfaction and resentment over this kind of harassment and appealed to the concerned authority to look into the matter immediately. <laughs> Moljam village lacked attention of the government until now and there has been no electricity at the village. Speaking to our Moray correspondent Sanjoy, member of Moljam village authority, 
Lungkongam Haukip said that all the roads, including the way from Moljam to Moray, are in deplorable condition. Moljam village is located near Indo Myanmar border, around 100 kilometers from Moray. Lungkongam Haukip drew the attention of the relevant authorities for all round development of the village. <laughs> ซินะควายตะกะวะบะนี่ก็ได้ฮันนิงมิชิฮุจิกพาวซิเมซิมลันเอ่อติงเงี้ยโดมิสลาเตดุนะอีคุยนะปามบะสิคุนยุยนะส
A 33-member team of Manipur left Imphal today to take part in the Business Matching Investment Conference and Exhibition at Myanmar from 19th to 22nd December. They were flagged off by Dr. Dhabli from Classic Hotel Grande Chingmirong. Speaking at the program, General Secretary of Manipur Chambers of Commerce and Industries, Jotin Thoksom said, as part of the ACTIS policy, the team of traders will convey information regarding advantages of trading in Manipur. He said this kind of exchanges will bring development in the field of trade and commerce. If educated youths of the state choose suitable occupations and work hard without giving much importance to jobs of the government, one can make a successful career. Speaking exclusively to ISTV News, Salam Tiken of Kumbi Tera Kha Wat No. 9, who deals in pig farming, said that he aimed to collect income of Rs 40 to 50 lakhs annually from pig farming. Salam Tiken took up the job of pig farming in 2013 with only two pigs and now he is running a successful business. Tiken said a piglet is sold at a maximum rate of 4,000 rupees. Altogether, he has 20 pigs and he can collect incomes worth 10 lakhs in a year. Tikken added that if educated and unemployed youths of the state choose suitable occupations and work hard, they can make a successful career. Tikken expressed desire to remove problems of unemployment from the state and hoped for a self-reliant state. <laughs> We have more news coming up after a short break. I am the starter. We work it together. When we chase it together. I am the after party. When we rock it together. But it's stylish only when we live it together. The next gen Maruti Suzuki Ertiga move together in style. Welcome back. The second annual conference of Ophthalmological Society of Manipur was held today at the Hall of Indian Medical Association. Many specialized doctors, including doctors from outside the state, participated in the conference. Secretary of Ophthalmological Society of Manipur, Dr. Waising Suingamba, said, Different methods and techniques of treatment will be discussed with specialized doctors at a conference. Technique anoba, my answer will be discussed already. Anoba, my panagi yorba, invited faculty, my answer is yorga, my the issue of the knowledge is shared already. Anator Mamontagi, Karma improvement of VR, give him a cannabis in a quick patient care. I would have been an hour laying from Mongosta, improved to Wungami. Anova technology, anova method, may I say apply to see Kari Kanava Hena Pangadagi, have a doing Kanaraga, see ultimately a Kuyi Manipuri, Eraser Sing Habitari, Sesa Pukanava Sepang Wangani, have a Sepoya San. Pediatric Association of Manipur PAM organized the 22nd Manipedicon Conference at the auditorium of Jenims today. Chairman of Manitron, Dr. Rajisham Yumnam. Director of RIMS Professor A. Shanta, Director of Jenims Professor T. H. Bhimo, President of PAM Dr. K. H. Ratan Kumar were among those present at the conference. Speaking at the conference under the theme Child Abuse and Neglect Our Responsibilities, Dr. Radheshyam Yumnam emphasized the importance of the topic of the event and stated that it is one of the major issues in the world. He stated that cooperation among the people is mandatory to stop crime against children and also called upon the government to initiate steps to strengthen law against such crimes. To the child, to the family, to the community, to the uh, societies at last. So every person from all sectors can play and should play a role to prevent this child abuse, this child neglect. This is our responsibility, our sole responsibility. With commitment, we have to go into this field. DS Enterprises observed its fourth Foundation Day at Keshantong Irompukrimapal Community Hall. As part of the function, 50 kg of rice were distributed to 25 elders of Irompukrimapal. Speaking at a function, Dr. Dhanavir Lystrom said, for a better society, we need democratic families in the state. 
Apun ba Manipur kan ba ima lup kandol the demise of President of Kangley Park Women Welfare Association ima akoizam memsa. Two minutes silence was observed as mark of respect to the departed soul and the loop shared the sorrow of the grieving family. Social worker James Kasum has handed over a playground to villagers of Sopleng village ahead of the third Kabong Mitunglong conference come cultural sports meet to be held from 14th to 19th January next year, organized every five years. Chief of Sopleng Village, Rangam Saru, was also present at the inaugural event. Speaking to ISTV News on the sidelines of the event, James stated that inadequate and irresponsible elected representatives are the cause behind unequal development and hatred among people of the hills and the valley. He maintained that there will be no love without development. James alleged that there is no development in the state as the elected representatives do not provide benefits of schemes of the government to the people. Development <laughs> Dissemination Workshop on Teenage Girls Report 2018 was held at Lamyanba Shanglen, organized by Nandi Foundation and KC Mahindra Education Trust today. Rohini Mukherjee of Nandi Foundation and Director of Hopa, Dr. Lata Shori, were among those present on the occasion. A coaching center named TR Intensive Coaching Home was opened at Moirang Kunau Kaitel Uhirem Lekai. The center was jointly initiated by TR Educational Group, Imphal and Women and Child Empowerment Organization, Moirang Kuno. The inauguration program was attended by former headmaster L. Tonton Singh, advisor of TR Educational Group, Imphal Tommy Waheng Mayum, and president of Child Empowerment Organization, Moirang Kuno, Rebecca Ningombam. Rebecca Ningombam said expert teachers will teach different subjects including spoken English from class 3 to 10 and the coaching center aims to generate outstanding students. A one-day free thyroid estimation camp was held at Supriya Diagnostic Center of Thaubal Khetri Sanglen. The camp was jointly organized by Lions Club and Leo Club Thaubal about Healthcare Limited and SRL Diagnostic Center Infa. Former Chief Medical Officer of Imphal East, Dr. K.H.S. Manglem, briefed the functions of thyroid in a human body at the camp. Altogether, 30 persons were checked up at the camp. Sendra Sangai Marathon, organized by 42nd Assam Rifles of Red Shield Division under the theme Run for Peace, was held at Sendra. The 10-kilometer marathon started from foothill of Sendra Pass through Tanga and Moirang and concluded at Sendra. The marathon was participated by men and women contenders above 13 years. Brigadier of 57th Mountain Division, Rabindra Rajan flagged off the race. Prizes were distributed to the first five position holders of the marathon. MLA of Moirang Assembly Constituency, P. Sharat Chandra, also took part in the event. The last competition of the 8th edition of State Level Transformation Challenge organized by Apunba Fitness Center Imphal was held today at the Gym Center of Apunba Fitness Center, Nagamapal. Health checkup of the selected competitors from different phases of the competition was also done today. Speaking at the event, Managing Director Yumnam Hamlet said that Transformation Challenge was started with an aim to promote healthy lifestyle. The mega final of the event will be held on December 23rd at the auditorium of MSFDS. And now we have the recap of the top stories. Naurenkong Gripstar Ground will be developed in honor of Mr. India Nongthomba Mai Park, announces Chief Minister N. Biren. Police personnel reportedly intimidates some people and miss initiative of government to improve relations between public and police. And inhabitants decry lack of basic facilities, deplorable condition of roads at Molcham village. That's all we have in the English ISTV news for today. Thank you for watching ISTV English news and good night.